Meanwhile, tonight tensions are high between the U.S. and Iran, and they are only increasing. New video in Iran shows thousands walking together in a farewell procession for Iran's top general. The United States killed him last week in Iraq. It happened one day after Iranian-backed militias set the U.S. embassy on fire. They were protesting an airstrike that killed 25 people. Iran has since vowed retaliation, and the controversy now has Chevron pulling its workers out of Iraq. Keep in mind, Chevron is America's second largest oil company. They say this is all a precautionary measure, saying the safety of our people is our top priority. And so tonight, we want to hear from you. Are you concerned about retaliation from Iran? You can vote right now by heading to abc10.com vote or opening the new ABC10 app. One thing is certain, Iranian Americans are indeed concerned tonight. Take a look. I think there's a lot of concern and fear. I'm talking with Dustin Johnson, civil rights attorney for the Sacramento Division of the Council on American Islamic Relations. As headlines like this one start making the rounds, border stops for people of Iranian descent spark outrage. The issue is you want to be prepared. You don't want to, you find out you're you know, sister has been detained for three hours in, at the airport, and now you're trying to figure out what to do. This all comes days after the killing of Iran's top general, Qasim Soleimani. In the streets of Tehran, chants of death to America could be heard at his funeral procession. It's a tense time, and Johnson tells me he's already gotten calls from local families fearful for their loved ones. We have been contacted by, by community members who either they themselves are planning to travel or they have family members who are coming back. Uh, they're overseas now and are concerned about like what, what's going to happen when they come back. And so CARE Sacramento plans to launch Know Your Rights presentations. We have the right to privacy in our, in our country and you have the right not to incriminate yourself. You don't have to tell them everything about your background, and it might not be that you did anything wrong or criminal. In an emergency situation, Johnson tells me someone in their office is available to help on a 24-7 basis. If it's an emergency, call us, let us know, um, and we will try to get on top of it as quickly as we can. Take a look. You can reach CARE Sacramento at 916-441-6269.